Hi guys, so this session of Used and Abused is going to be all about the Pro Support System. As you can see, fishing long pole today for skimmers and bream and that's when it comes into its own. Whether it be on a natural venue, a river, a commercial, any long pole fishing that I do that's for skimmers and bream, it comes into its own. As you can see, it attaches to your front legs and goes um, out in front of you and this is to give yourself a bit of distance between where the pole hooks on in between your legs and where it supports in front. If it were too close you've had too much pressure on the pole and it's no good you need it out in front of you supporting the pole. On this one you can turn around the blue part so that actually does spin round so when it's windy you can actually sit the pole in a ridge so as it's sat in the ridge the wind blows it and it doesn't move at this end so you can hold on to it obviously i wouldn't advise fishing it in gale force winds but if it's light winds where you're struggling to hold it by hand if you shove it in the support system you can hold on to it and as long as you've got a longer bit of line and back shot your float won't move even if the pole's moving and you can hold it on this end and it's just a lot more stable um, the reason we like fishing it for skimmers and bream is because you need your rig dead static when you're fishing for skimmers and bream on the bottom so you just want to put your rig out hold it in the same place and basically forget about it until your float goes under plus it leaves me my hands free i can feed with a catapult i can have a drink i can have my sandwiches do whatever i want and as soon as it moves you hold on lift the pole up and the fish is on one little thing that i also do you probably can't see from there but i have actually got a watch on here so a watch is really important and it's a good place for it to sit, especially when you're fishing for skimmers and bream and any big fish in this instance. And it just lets me calculate how long I'm spending on this line and whether I can afford to. And by that I mean if I were catching a lot of smaller fish short, but only the odd fish long, I, I could give myself say five, ten minutes and just keep my eye on time. And if five, ten minutes passed and I ain't caught a fish, I can come back off there. I know we can use his phones and other things but it's just not quite as good looking at your phone when that's right in front of me eye line you can also use it when feeder fishing as well and it's got stop watches on it which i know quite a lot of the feeder guys use and it's just a good like thing to have there it doesn't cost a lot it's good to have and it just lets you manage your fishing a lot better hope you've enjoyed and this is the pole support used and abuse section So as you can see, I've just literally been holding that float dead still on the spray bar and I'm into a skimmer. Just shows it's dead important to hold your bait still when fishing for these skimmers. And the, the way that we do this is by using the spray bar or the support system. They have got a number of names. Lovely little skimmer coming up. There we go. If you listen to them tips that I've just given you, you can catch fish like that. Hope you enjoyed.